All right, let's go over gold here. We had a wave five that just solidified. Okay, we know what to do with the control point. The three most important market profiles. This has been working for over 32 years, the same exact setup. Our most important three profiles are these big red, blue, green levels. That is volume profile. Okay, we have price profile that are the small dots, volume profiles of solid lines. Those solid thick lines dictate order flow. That's where you're getting all the algorithm activity, all the banks, hedge funds, amateur traders, professional traders. And what it does, that big blue thick line spits out the most volume that's traded in that particular instrument that you are trading. That's why market profile has been so accurate for 32 years. The beautiful thing about my blue line, that will dictate the most volume in that instrument. That is tradable with overall trend direction. We had a wave three and a wave five. This is a wave five I projected before it happened. We just got this trade off here a second ago. But let's look at this wave three. Easy way to trade these levels. If you're in a downtrend, we cross down. Look for a break. You get three shots at taking shorts. Retest, there's my retest. We had negative market delta. That was the first short. That was a wave three pattern, Elliott wave three. Three and five patterns are your longest legs in Elliott wave. You don't need to understand how to do Elliott wave because market profile typically sets up the waves. So there's the first wave three. Then I said, look, look for the next retracement up. We're at a 50% retracement level here. Is that 50% retracement level at the same time? What the market did was it broke down, it retested, 50% retracement, LVA moved down to us. Consequently, our fib dot fired red, it was nice and slow, it was a very easy trade to see. The fib dot was there for a few moments. And there's our next ABC pattern short. That's how we trade our setups. We're looking for a wave three and wave five. That's the longest impulse wave of Elliott wave. You don't understand, have to understand Elliott wave, but you have to understand what I'm trying to do off these market profile levels is to find these ABC or, or these Elliott wave patterns off of my market profile. If I, I look for a break, retest, break, retest. Look how beautiful this set, up, set itself up. Not only did I break, retest, look at the first one over here in my white chart. It broke through low value area, weakened the market. Retested. Then the second wave, when it when it's posting this red fib dot, I said, look for another wave down, a wave five down, another impulse wave down. Sure enough, right after I talked about this, we had a negative market delta, negative 178. That shows a major order imbalance. There's your entry, your entry on gold short on the wave five pattern. The fill should have been right around 1244.30, give or take a couple ticks on slippage, positive or minus. Your stop loss is always two ticks above the swing high off on market delta. We had a defined stop, and then all the way down to our symmetry dots to scale 50% and into our next price profile. So those that's how you do a wave through wave five. What we're trying to do, guys and gals, is that you do not want to buy and sell with this methodology. This is not a stochastic, it's not a moving average convergence divergence. You're not doing moving average crossovers. That's for amateur traders. This is a professional way how to trade. Because what we're doing is we're trading off order flow. And what we're doing is we're trading off volume profile as our main one. So you can see my trend filter crossed down. We broke through control point. Take the first retest of control. That's our first trade. Negative market delta at 1246. Got as low as almost 1241 and a half. Big trade. The next trade setup was, I said, look for the first retracement. It broke, retested as a 50% retracement when this Fibonacci dot came up. Look at my negative market delta, negative 178. There's your entry, 1244.30, 1244.20, depending on your slippage. Stop loss was predefined, two ticks above the swing high, and that's a beautiful wave three, wave five pattern short. But notice one thing. We're simply looking for ABC pattern shorts. You only get three shots in a downtrend. You get a break retest the blue line, a break retest the green line, or if it would have came up and retested this red line, that's high value area, that would been another short opportunity. You only get three shots. You get three shots at downtrends. Right there's your next shot right there. One, 
two, three. All right, we're trying to catch the wrongly positioned traders once it finally breaks, retest. We're trying to catch the wrongly positioned traders because what we're piggybacking our order flow off of is all these algorithms out there, all these banks, these hedge funds, prop firms, because we know that these levels are going to generate major support and resistance because it's based upon volume coming in the market. It's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is actual volume that's coming in the market from all these different sources, and it produces this big, thick blue line. So since we know that, we can derive our trades off of this blue, red, and green line. And if the small dots overlap it, or if developing profile on the white chart overlaps it, you have what's called a stack or conclude level. We try to let it break, retest. Beautiful wave five pattern that we talked about before it happened, and that's how you do it. Okay? So you get three shots. One off the red line, one off the blue line, which is the control point, most volume traded, one off the green line, which is low value. If you're in a downtrend, we do not buy low value. We let it break. We let it retest for continuation. Okay? Now the white chart, I have developing profile over this. I have a high value in red, low value in green. Very simple. If you break through low value, look for the first retracement. You get another shot at it with a wave five if it can lose on the black chart on resistance, which it did. Okay? And then always use market delta on your first test of these levels to enter the trade. After it closes red, you can enter at the open of the next bar, stop loss two ticks above the swing high to limit your risk. And we have a beautiful trade that happened on a wave five pattern down. Okay? So before you shut this off, Joe, I want to make sure we understand this. Get these ABCs off here. There's one thing about this chart. What did it react off of? What did gold react off of today? It reacted off the control point here, break retest control, and that reacted off the 50% retracement off the fib dot here at the low value area that moved down. Look how they react off of it. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This is not a lightning indicator. This is actual market structure. This is the structure of the market. This is the order flow of the market that created this break retest, break retest. That's not our opinion. That's actually what's happening inside the market. Gerald, shut that off. Shut up, man. So that's order flow, guys. That's how we trade order flow. 